ACE inhibitors are the medications ending with the suffix pril, like lisinopril. The liver secretes a protein known as angiotensinogen, and this becomes angiotensin 1 by the function of the enzyme of the kidneys known as renin. And then, another enzyme in the lungs, known as the ACE enzyme, converts angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. ACE enzyme will also break down bradykinin. The main function of ACE enzyme is to increase blood pressure. Angiotensin 2 has multiple mechanisms to increase blood pressure, including aldosterone and other mechanisms such as vasoconstriction. And bradykinin naturally causes vasodilation, so when it's broken down, it increases blood pressure. ACE inhibitors simply stop the ACE enzyme, and this causes the accumulation of bradykinin, which is a vasodilator, and this decreases blood pressure. And nothing will be making angiotensin 2, so the levels will go down, and blood pressure will also go down. ACE inhibitors are especially effective in patients who are hypertensive and diabetic. It protects the kidney and decreases proteinuria, and that's especially useful because the kidney is one of the main organs or the first organs to be damaged in diabetes and hypertension. There are also some studies suggesting the link of decreased atherosclerosis with the use of ACE inhibitors. The main side effects of ACE inhibitors stem from the bradykinin itself. Bradykinin increases prostaglandin, and this causes dry cough, and bradykinin also causes some angioedema. Patients with C1 esterase inhibitors deficiency naturally have angioedema. So these patients are especially prone to developing angioedema if they take ACE inhibitors. Patients who are taking ACE inhibitors are expected to have increased creatinine for about 2 to 5 days, and this goes back to normal in, the, in a couple of weeks. And sometimes it causes first dose hypertension. The contraindications are bilateral renal artery stenosis, because they can increase the risk of renal hypoperfusion and pregnancy because it's teratogenic. And of course, like we said, C1 estrogen inhibitor deficiency. Use the link below to get access to the full cardiology medications course. The course includes all heart medications, their mechanism of action, the side effects, and the important notes. With every lecture in the course, you will have the external links referencing the updated guidelines so that you stay up to date and you don't miss anything. You can also test your knowledge by answering the MCQs and the quizzes included in the course. It's an excellent way to stay updated and to remember everything. Thank you for watching.